Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I will tell you how to set up the upload of new contacts from the Zoho CRM system to HubSpot. This is necessary to automatically transfer new contacts from Zoho CRM to other systems. For example, in HubSpot, create new deals, each time a new contact is added to Zoho CRM, it is convenient to store, process and interact with them in every possible way in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next you need to select the Zoho CRM data source system. Next, you need to select an action, Get Contacts New. At this stage, you need to connect your Zoho CRM account to the Apex Drive service. In this window, enter the login and password from your Zoho CRM account. At this stage, you need to give your permission to Apex Drive to work with your account. When the connected account is displayed in the list, select it and click Continue. There are no additional settings for the Zoho CRM system, so just click Continue. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click Continue. At this stage, you see test data for one of your Zoho CRM contacts. If everything suits you, click Next. This completes the Zoho CRM data source setup. Now you need to move on to setting up data ingestion. Choose HubSpot as the data receiving system. Next, you need to select an action, Create Deal. At this stage, you need to connect your HubSpot account to the Apex Drive service. In this window, enter your login and password from your HubSpot account. Next, you need to select the account to which you want to transfer data. At this stage, you need to give your permission to Apex Drive to work with your account. When the connected account is displayed in the list, select it and click Continue. Next, you need to fill in the fields with variables from Zoho CRM. To assign a variable, click on the field and select the required variable from the drop-down list. Please note that you can not only add variables, but also prescribe values manually. Press Enter to move to the next line. When all the necessary data is assigned, click Continue. At this point, we see the test data that will be sent to HubSpot. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to HubSpot. Go to your personal account and check the result. If everything suits you, we return to the Apex Drive service and continue the configuration. On this, the data reception setup has been successfully completed, now you need to enable auto-update. 
Select the communication interval, for example, once every five minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.